What's good, YouTubers and YouTubettes? This is JB Sports, back again with another one. Teofima Lopez, fresh off a victory over Vasily Lomachenko via unanimous decision when he was able to outbox the fighter who was on everybody's pound-for-pound -pound list. This was the biggest win of Teofimo Lopez's youngest, youngest career. He was asked a question about Deontay Wilder's recent allegations against Tyson Fury, which involved the first fight and the second fight. And he stated that Deontay Wilder needs to quit acting like a biatch and quit crying about the dent on the side of his head. Teofimo Lopez is talking reckless, ladies and gentlemen. He's made his bed, and now he's got to lie in it. I'm not saying that Deontay Wilder is going to go after Teofimo Lopez. I don't know that. But I know when you start calling another man out his name, you asking for trouble. It is what it is. <laughs> we'll see how it plays out. You remember Dominique Brazil? He, talk, he, he was talking reckless. And you see what happened with him. He got punched out in the hotel lobby in Alabama. And then he tried to sue. And then Deontay Wilder said, no, don't sue. We can uh, hash this out in the ring. And then he fought Deontay Wilder. And he got knocked the fuck out in a highlight reel KO. That was the KO of the year. And he was never heard or seen after that he erased his uh instagram uh posts got off instagram got off twitter and he have never been heard or seen since that knockout so teofima lopez stay in your lane <laughs> worry about who you're gonna fight next worry about a potential matchup with devin haney worry about a potential matchup with your ibf mandatory uh guy that's uh george cambosos who's recently defeated Lee Selby this past Saturday on the undercard of Derek Chisora or Alexander Usyk. Worry about moving up to 140, possibly fighting uh, Jose Pedraza or Cepeda in your next match matchup if you uh, decide to move up. You, you worried about a heavyweight. Worried about his situation. You don't know the evidence that he has. He said he's going to release his evidence shortly. Especially if Tyson Fury don't grant him his uh, third opportunity to regain his WBC title, which he says is uh, owed to him in the contract. You, 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 you're not a doctor, Teofima Lopez. Wilder clearly came out and stated that that dent on the side of his head was coming from an illegal object in the glove, not from a regular 10 ounce glove. So let Wilder come out with his evidence and let him come out. When it, with the uh, illegal allegations upon which was perpetrated by Tyson Fury. Let him do that. But for you to speculate about the dent on the side of his head, is, is Wilder being a crybaby, a sore loser, is, uh, is ridiculous. And you need to just stay in your lane and worry about your situation. I know you and Tyson Fury are both up on the top rank. Y'all both are stable mates, so I guess you feel that you need to come to his aid. Because you was talking a lot of trash before the third fight when you said you thought Tyson Fury was going to win. You said, I'm going to show you how he's going to win. You know, you like an expertise on how Tyson Fury was going to defeat Deontay Wilder. So we already know that you was already on his side. And I can understand that with you and him being up under the same promotional company. But for you to come out and put the man on blast and call him out his name and call him the B-word and said that he's just uh, making up excuses about the dent on the side of his head, and you don't know what kind of long-term damage that can cause later on down in his career and in his life, is absolutely as a 9, as a 10, as a 11, and as a 12. And you need to stay in your lane, Teofima Lopez. You remember Billy Joe Saunders? He was talking reckless about Deontay Wilder, too. And Deontay Wilder was in the U.K., uh, looking to uh, help promote the first fight with Tyson Fury. And he saw Billy Joe Saunders in that restaurant, and he approached Billy Joe Saunders and said, hey, as Billy Joe Saunders walked up to him and said, hey, how you doing, Deontay Wilder? You know, basically uh, greeting Deontay Wilder, you know, and uh, saying, you know, uh, you know, he was, it was nice to see Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder said, hold up. You know, I remember you said this uh, not too long ago about me. That was detrimental. That was negative. What about that comment? 
and he checked uh, Billy Joe Saunders. Billy Joe Saunders got mad, couldn't shake it that a man checked him on the words that he said that was reckless and earlier. He thought he could just come over there and say, how you doing, Wilder, and nice to see you, and it's going to be a great fight, fight between you and Tyson Fury. I'm looking forward to this matchup. You know, and without him, uh, Deontay Wilder checking him on some negative comments that Billy Joe Saunders had made previously. And, De and Deontay Wilder checked him on that. Billy Joe Saunders couldn't ha handle that. So he walked up on this table that Deontay Wilder was sitting at when he was sitting with him and his team and started throwing food at him. Some said it was chicken. Some said it was chicken nuggets, whatever it was. Some said it was uh, wings. <laughs> Some said it was turkey, turkey necks, <laughs> whatever the case it, it was. He was served, he was throwing some food at Deontay Wilder, and then he ran up out of there. He ran up out of there. He ran up out of there like like a white girl running in a Freddy Krueger movie. Got the fuck out of Dodge as Wilder and his team chased him up out of there. I'm talking reckless. Now, I'm not here to say that's going to be your fate where you're going to be running when the DT and Wilder and his team uh, run up on you and ask, ask you to uh, why you said those comments and called a man out of his name. But you just got to look at the, be careful of what you say because you're talking reckless right now, Tiafima Lopez. Focus on Devin Haney. Again, I'm going to mention this. Focus on if you want to go up to 140 fighting Jose Pedraza and getting your feet wet at 140 fighting Cepeda and then eventually fighting the winner of Josh Taylor and Jose Ramirez for undisputed at 140 pounds. Focus on standing at 135 and actually becoming undisputed and beating Devin Haney, the WBC lightweight champion. Focus on standing at 135 and fighting Javante Davis, which would be a big fight at 135 and be on pay-per-view. Uh, focus on standing at 135 and fighting Ryan Garcia. That's another big fight at 135. That will be a pay-per-view fight. Focus on those things and keep uh, Deontay Wilder's name out your mouth. Because you might end up regretting what you're saying. I'm just saying. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section about Tio Fimo Lopez going in on Deontay Wilder. Calling him out his name and saying the dead on the side of his head is just him crying. It was, it was from a punch. It wasn't from a legal object, object that was inside the glove. Let me know your thoughts. This is JB Sports. The man. The myth. The legend. I holler.